Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about Sharkin and friction reducing swimsuits. So nowadays we are having the swimsuits and uh, which is in the shape of uh, you know kind of uh, different different like almost like a fish or aquatic animals. The reason is very simple. So in aquatic animal nature has been evolved in such a way that in aquatic all the almost all aquatic animals they have got some kind of structures in their body so that they are uh, able to swim faster than the other animals even in among them also, uh, among them uh, also there are few animals like shark okay which can swim faster than the other uh, aquatic animals like a fish dolphin and other uh, you know aquatic animals the reason being you now why the shark is uh, able to swim faster the reason again, again obviously every structure, every aquatic animal has got that uh, structures which can reduce the drag and increase the swimming efficiency. But shark skin uh, has been widely studied for its uh, speed uh, compared to the other thing because of its uh, speed compared to the other uh, species or other uh, aquatic animals. So the reason was when they found out that the reason was it had got some kind of structures like which, is, which are called as denticles on shark skin. So they have evolved over millions of years to reduce drag and increase the swimming efficiency. So now these structures disrupt the flow of water. That means it will disturb the flow of water around the shark's body. So reducing the turbulence. What happens whenever you, uh, if you are going in water, if for example, we will be going by the boats and all. Now what happens? There are a lot of turbulence will be created. So the so uh, there will be water cells will be formed inside the uh, water body. So that if this is too much, what happens? You can't move faster like that. So here these structures disturb the flow of the water around the shark body, reducing the turbulence. The turbulence weight will be reduced because of this particular uh, structures. So once the turbulence is reduced, that means disturbance in the water is uh, uh, reduced, it will definitely minimize the formation of the water ices. So as a result, what happens? Shark can swim faster because there is no force holding it behind. If the vortices are formed, obviously the result will be, uh, the drag will be more. So that means it, it will hold you back. So if the vortices are not there, if there is no turbulence, the, the animal can move faster. Okay, so there is no kind of friction on the roads in a similar way. So as a result, shark can swim faster and with less efforts compared to the other fish. So this is how the structures looks like in shark. Okay, these are this is the scale of hundred micrometer. Here yeah, hundred micrometer in the sense what? So this particular area from this particular area is hundred micrometer. Now this scale I can just take it here and I can see, I can here I can see so that all that means so much that from A to B it's hundred micrometer. In that scale only you can keep on keep it on any place. It is hundred micrometer. So importance of denticles, the structure which are present on the shark skin. So denticles on the shark skin are likely are almost like a, you know tiny bumps or ridges, small small bumps or ridges. So they disrupt the flow of the water around the shark body. So creating smoother and reducing turbulence. So there is no bigger turbulence. So this disruption reduces the resistance on shark experience, whatever the shark experiences on its body or on its uh, swim, whenever it is swimming on its uh, skin. So allowing it to be move faster and with less effort. So turbulence in water means turbulence is uh, when a fluid like a water or a air or which becomes chaotic or unpredictable. So there will be disturbance will be there when there is water. You can this we call it as a turbulence. Instead of flowing smoking, it swells and forms irregular patterns. This is a definition for turbulence in water. Those who are not aware of it, you can just go through this. So this turbulence creates resistances or a drag which makes it harder for things to move through the fluid. So in swimming, reducing the turbulence is very important because it helps to minimize the resistance, allowing swimmers to move faster you know, easily and effectively in water. So next, reducing drag. So here reducing drag means what? When the shark swims through the water, what happens? Water normally flows smoothly over its body. So however, the, now the denticles, the structures are, are there now on the screen. So they disrupt this smooth flow. So they create a smaller disturbances in the water. That means they split off the bigger turbulences, smaller turbulences. 
So this terminus will be smaller. So which helps to break up the turbulent currents that can slow the shark, uh, that can slow the shark down. So that was about uh, this thing. So next, frictionless swimsuits. So shark skin has inspired the development of frictionless re friction reducing swimsuits, which are designed to improve the performance of swimmers by reducing the drag in the water. So friction reducing swimsuits uh, use a similar structure to so that of the shark skin to reduce a drag and as well as to improve the swimmer performance. Definitely. So you can just copy this particular uh, this thing. Uh, structures, the similar structures, uh, normal materials we can use for the same suit so that we can have, we can also achieve the same property that means the drag reduction and less turbulence so that we can also move faster. So these suits, <coughs> sorry, these suits are made from the high tech materials that means the property of shark skin such as the shape and the size of the tentacles. So materials are used to develop these kind of uh, skins. Uh, so uh, first one, a polyurethane. So a type of polymer that is commonly used in the production of swimsuits as it is durable and can be molded into a variety of shapes. So main thing is the shape. In swimming suits, you, you have seen that the shapes are very, very you know, uh, peculiar or different, different kind of shapes. So that's why. So here, whenever you are using the polymer, you can mold it and you can use it for whatever the shape you want. And also the another uh, main important property of polyurethane is it's a durable. Durability is more here. So next, lepra uh, or sorry, <coughs> lycra or spandex. So lycra or spandex are nothing but they are made from the same synthetic fiber. Both are made from the same synthetic fiber, which is technically called as elastane. Again, elastane is nothing but a fiber. They are typically composed of a polymer called as again polyurethane, which is then blend it. After uh, you take a polyurethane, you blend it with the fibers. Then you will get the lycra, uh, <coughs> lycra or uh, spandex. Okay. So that is known for stretch and flexibility. There it was durability and for its uh, uh, required shapes we can have. Here it is stretching and flexibility. So ne next, high tech fabrics. A range of high tech fabrics have been developed specifically for the use of the swimsuits. These fabrics are designed to be a lightweight material, high, you know, they are investing a lot of things so that the better property, the lighter the weight. So water repellent, super hydrophobicity, what we discussed in the previous uh, lotus uh, effect in the same chapter, and then hydrodynamic properties, and also often incorporate materials such as silicon or a Teflon to reduce the drag. So the silicon and Teflon has got uh, a property so that they can reduce the drag. So examples. Uh, so far, swimsuits or uh, the whatever uh, materials uh, which are prepared by the inspiration of this shark skin. Uh, first thing, Spiro fast skin. So here, this swimsuit was designed based on the structure of the shark skin and is made for ma made from the again high tech fabrics that incorporates the range of materials to reduce the drag and turbulence in the water. Next, Arena power skin carbon ultra. So another example of the friction reducing swimsuit. So here this particular uh, thing, uh, the carbon ultra is made up of combination of the polyurethane again and high tech fabrics. You are having the polyurethane along with the high tech fabrics to improve the hydrodynamic properties and as well as form fitting design. Next we are having TYR Venzo. TYR Venzo is nothing but again friction reducing swimsuit that incorporates a unique surface structures which are inspired by the shark skin as well as other uh, advanced materials to improve the swimming performance. So, the, uh, so that was about the shark skin. Okay, so next topic we are having kingfisher beak and uh, bullet train that we will discuss in the next 